Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology, Rajshri here. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about how the month of May is going to be for Sagittarius moon signs and ascendants. Let me first quickly uh, let you know the positioning of the planets in the sky in the beginning of the month. Your fifth house is heavy with Jupiter, Rahu, Sun and retrograde Mercury uh, placed there. Sun is exalted in your fifth house. A wonderful thing. Next, on the other side, in your 11th house, you have Ketu. In your third house, Saturn is very well placed. And then in the sixth house, you have Venus. In the seventh house, you have Mars. And I think, yes, that's it. Now let's see how the month is going to unfold as the planets, three of the planets are moving. So let me see how the month is going to be for you as it progresses. For Sagittarius people, your sign lord Jupiter is in your fifth house, as I said just a while ago, in Aries sign. It's a very nice position for Jupiter. And Jupiter is by default powerful here. However, Jupiter is also in close conjunction with Rahu and will get eclipsed by Rahu there. Saturn is also aspecting all the planets in 5th house. In May, positivity in life will be there. But you will not get the best results of Jupiter in May. We need to keep that in mind. Remain a little bit careful about your health and your decision-making ability. At times, because of presence of Rahu, uh, confusion in thoughts, overconfidence, overoptimism can actually make you take some wrong decisions. Therefore, weigh all options carefully and then decide. There are high chances of getting wrong advice as well. Ideally, it would be best if you can shelve all important decisions this month and take all financial decisions very carefully as well. Do not make any risky investment plans as well. Ups and downs in returns on speculative investments will be there. Rahu and Ketu's position can bring sudden large amount of gains before 10th but remain very careful thereafter particularly in the last week of May. Mars's position will impact your finances and house of savings the whole month. And this will create sudden high expenses as well. May can bring some troubles related to your children. If you are in studies, there will be chances of enrolling for a foreign university or studying in a place which is far from your birthplace. The planets are indicating that the first half of May can bring educational recognition for you. Overall, you need to remain focused in your studies to get results in May. Stay away from mobile phones and online games. An exalted sun in your fifth house is very positive for recognition and for a creative career. If you are in films, theatre, music or in any stream of performing art, you are going to do very well in May. It is also good for your spiritual growth. In the second half of May, when sun moves to your sixth house, it will help you to overcome diseases, win in competitions, and overcome obstacles in life. So, all in all, Sun's position is pretty good for you. A retrograde Mercury in your fifth house can create problems in your career and money matters. That's in the first half of the month. There are indications of a change of job as well. If you are in business, there will be gains for you. Venus is moved to your 7th house and Mars's placement in the 7th and 8th house together indicate difficult times for your married life. 
Venus coming to your seventh house is actually not great for married life. You also have to be careful about your health when Mars moves to your eighth house because a debilitated Mars in the eighth house also indicates possibility of health issues and sudden mishaps. Saturn in your third house is very well placed, particularly till 10th May. From 10th May, Mars will aspect Saturn and this can create frustration in putting your ideas into action. Do not take any initiative without thorough thinking after 10th and do not do things in a hurry. If you are not married yet, possibility of marriage opens up in May. For love relations, this month will need care. Avoid ego issues with your romantic partner though. May would be a month when you need to keep your ethics high and your judgment sound. Take care of your mother's health as well. Thank you so much for watching my video and if you like this video, find this informative and think that this is of any guidance to you for the month. Do like this video, share it with whoever needs it and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much. May God bless us all.